Mm, yeah, and I mean, he did the documentary. Some people think that was a good idea. Other people think it was a, a bad idea. You know, a lot of people say that there was a deathbed confession that he admitted to killing another person. Uh, people often say to me, who was the person that, that he talks about? Um, we knew it wasn't Teddy Smith. A lot of people felt that Teddy Smith was the guy um, who'd done it. But, um, you know, a good a good pal of mine, Ray Rose, he's like an investigative uh, uh, journalist. He tracked Teddy Smith down to Australia. And, you know, he was the one who broke the story about Teddy Smith passing away. Um, you know, actually spoke to him on the phone. Teddy then sent proof of, of his existence with his passport. Mm-hmm. So Teddy just drifted off. I mean, even the films have got it wrong. They've got Teddy being, you know, murdered, killed and, and what have you. Some people think that it was somebody who Reg had slept with, a boy, and that, um, you know, maybe he's due to the fact that he regretted sleeping with a kid and didn't want him going around telling tales that he'd strangle somebody to death after that. That's another another rumour. I'd like to think that it's probably, and my guess would be Frank Mitchell. Um and although they didn't, you know, they did, you know, they weren't responsible for for maybe pulling the trigger with Frank Mitchell. Uh, they were certainly guilty of getting him out of jail and pulling him out of prison. And that's, I think, is the the final murder because they went to court for it. Of course, it was part of the um, it was part part of the other ca- the case that was held against them. We had George Cornell, Jack the Hat. Uh, the Frank Mitchell case was held separately and, of course, nobody was ever found guilty of the murder and, and, and there's nobody. 